This short video will cover the Design Rebar Patterns dialog box which has been updated in Visual Foundation version 10. Let's get started. In Visual Foundation, when the Optimized Design Approach is selected, we can click the Edit Patterns button to launch the improved Design Rebar Patterns dialog box. Now in Visual Foundation, we can check the Use box next to the rebar patterns that we want the program to use for the optimization. If the list does not contain a pattern that we want to use, we can simply add a pattern. Patterns are saved in a database, so they are available in other Visual Foundation projects. You can always remove patterns from the database if needed. Note, if a colleague sends you a project that has a pattern not saved in your database, the pattern will appear in the project when you open it, but the In Database column will say No. You can select these patterns and click Add to save them in your database. This dialog box allows you to sort the different columns by clicking the column headers, making it easy to organize the patterns. If we want to use, say, number 4 bars and number 5 bars both at 12 inches and 18 inches on center for the optimization, we can simply click the Use button next to these patterns in the dialog box. Now based on the finite element analysis results, the program will choose the optimal rebar patterns from these four patterns for both the X direction bars and the Y direction bars. In Visual Foundation 10, it is now easier than ever to manage the rebar patterns used for the optimized design approach. Thanks for watching this short video and have a great day.